Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Courtney Scott Wright. Hello, hello. Anna Charkirk. Hello. We just got done watching the first four episodes of She-Hulk, and we just wanted to give our feelings to you guys about the show, just to give you a sense as to what we felt with our feelings in feeling this show. So it's got to be spoilers. Yeah, got to be super, super, super ambiguous about like the plot details and all that stuff. So this is literally just feelings. A Charkirk, would you like to go first? Um, oh gosh, put me on the spot, why don't you? Yeah, I mean, the show's a lot of fun. You get the sense of that from the trailers already. There's a lot of laughs. It's a lot of just kind of, what would She-Hulk do in her real life? And uh, all that stuff. And so, yes, they're definitely... Oh God, this is awkward. Okay. They're definitely doing the comedy, but there's a... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I think we could just stop the video here. Yeah. I feel like that that says everything. I mean, I, you do you want to go next? <laughs> no. When I first saw the trailer, I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it or not. And then as more trailers came out, I actually got pretty excited. And so with this, I've had both feelings while watching those first four episodes of like positive, happy, and then just downright frustrated because I'm like, what? Why are we? There's time spent on stuff that I didn't understand. And I obviously I'm not going to go into it. I'm still invested in the show. I'm I'm looking forward to episodes five through nine. There are nine episodes, if you didn't know. Yeah, I want to see what comes next. I'm invested enough to keep going. And obviously, this being, you know, YouTube being my job and all that, I'm going to watch it anyway. I can give you, like, my honest level of excitement, I suppose. And so it's, uh, we're at, uh, you know, the, the Zangief thumbs up, you know? It's just oh. like, it's not thumbs down, it's not thumbs up, it's just Zangief. That's how I'm feeling right now. The positives are, are quite positive, let me they, put it that yeah, way. Yeah, they are. You know, like there are genuinely really good moments in the show. And the cast is very good. Yes, the acting's just on point. Some of the things that you guys expressed concern about, definitely, yes, that is an issue. Uh, I'm not going to be specific. It <laughs> is a known issue, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if anyone is working on it. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, well, I love the introduction of the character. I thought the way that they set up, when you see it, I thought that it was really refreshing. It's mm -hmm. a fresh perspective on the Marvel Universe and what they're bringing to this series. You know, we do get, as you guys mentioned, like the comedy element, and Tatiana Maslany is wonderful as the character mm -hmm. of Jennifer Walters and as She-Hulk. I think that this is really going to be a a show about kind of like her relationship to everybody that she meets, not just as herself, but also as this new character that she has kind of fallen into becoming. I'm really invested in the series. I like, you know, like Jabby and Achara said, there is some clarity I'm looking forward to getting in terms of like the back five episodes and where we're going. You know, I'm on the ride. I I'm looking forward to whatever is coming next. I'm a little confused, but only because I don't know what to expect. Right. So thanks a lot. Yeah. Just in terms of the thing that you were mentioning that people have expressed thoughts on, I do concur. Okay. I agree that, you know, there is uh, just wondering what, what uh, how that happened in terms of all the things we've seen from the MCU yeah. during the course of the, what, 11 years we've been? I can explain it uh, off camera because I don't want to be specific at the moment. I want to give people a chance to watch it for themselves. But yes. Yeah, no, there, I, I there was a, there was, a, there was a whole kerfuffle about this on the internet because mm -hmm. people came out from Marvel. And so I just, that was already too much information right there. Going back to Achara Kirk's stumbling and bumbling in the beginning of the video, which is going to totally stay in the video. <laughs> I think that was actually uh, very poignant because I don't want us to dissuade you from watching the show. I want it's you to- still worth yeah, watching. Yeah, it's still, it's still worth watching. I want I want you guys to check it out for yourselves and look forward to it. Just sort of taper, not taper, but uh, what do you call it? Take it with a grain of salt. To dampen your expectations? Yeah, what, what do you call that? Just lower your uh, expectations. Lower, lower your expectations. What is it? Uh, something uh, disbelief. Suspend disbelief. I mean, no, that's not what I'm no, trying to say. You have to do that. All, right? all, all, all I'm saying is to lower your expectations a smidgen, and you might enjoy it a lot more as a result. I think that's okay for me to say this. Unlike the other Marvel shows that we've gotten so far, that is like feels like a, a movie that's been broken up into episodes. This does feel episodic in the traditional sense of things being episodic on TV growing up. You know, it feels like, oh, in this week, that's sort of the feeling yeah. I think we're all wrestling with at the moment is that was unexpected. Because it feels different. It's yeah. not what we're used to because we are used to more like end of the world scenarios. Yes. And as of yet, 
it's still very much like, oh, this is Jen Walters navigating life in LA as a lawyer and yeah. as a She-Hulk. What's yeah. going on? Yeah. You know? With like some interesting supporting characters and lots of laughs and yeah. fun. The- I, it, there are um, reminiscent moments for me for the beginning episodes of Hawkeye in terms of like just the lighthearted kind of feel good having a good time yes. situation. Lots of so that. I yeah. definitely feel like that is similar for me in that respect. Yeah, there's definitely it's definitely lighthearted, and I do appreciate that. And yeah. you know, a reason uh, I think it's okay to say this: you definitely want to stick through to at least episode four because one of the best characters. Oh, God. That is not even like, I, I can't be specific. One of the most enjoyable characters that you'll experience in the entire show is introduced in episode four. There's no reason to expect this character. No. Zero no. reason to expect this character. Yeah, no. It's not like a spoiler surprise either what I'm what I'm saving, but you, these three know, these two know what I'm talking about, which is like, it's just... It's just wh- the performance. Just the, per- yeah. like one of the best performances in epi- is in episode four. Even though this might have been my least ep- favorite episode, the character is great. Definitely watch. Watch it. Definitely watch it. There's definitely things to look forward to. It's just that sometimes it's going to be a bit of a struggle to get through. It's like, why are we doing it? Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's going to be like that. Well, um, and saying that, though, we've just seen episode four, you know, maybe some more answers to questions that we have are going to come. So yes, I'm true. still kind of holding out hope for that. Yes, and I also think there is something to be said of being happy that there is a show that doesn't have an end of the world epic That's proportion. True. I think we kind of maybe needed that a little bit. Yes. So I do respect and appreciate that element that it is something that is a slice of life yeah. out of a superhero's situation journey. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I think yes. the thing I'll, I'll, I'll end this on is a lot of the shows we've been getting lately from Marvel and just Disney Plus in general has been six episodes and this is the first one we're getting in a while that is nine episodes and uh, one of the things that I appreciated about this is the opportunity to spend time getting to know these characters and getting to know the ancillary characters involved and letting it breathe a little bit because for the most part the six episode structure has left me feeling like I'm watching footnotes of a story as opposed to a story and so here while I might be unhappy about a good number of things I'm appreciating the fact that we are getting to spend time with people in a way that we have not been afforded in previous Disney Plus shows besides WandaVision. So I think that's a plus. Yeah, because it gives them time to breathe and build our connection and relationship to these characters. Yeah. So I definitely feel like I'm getting a better insight in some ways yeah. to this character, to She-Hulk, than I did in a six episode show. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So, so that's super cool. You guys, that's it for now. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts on She-Hulk. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Please hit that bell icon, all notifications and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. By the by, we are doing, you know, watch along reaction stuff to this show. So if you become a Patreon or a YouTube member, you get to watch it with us without any cuts or interruptions, which I know you guys would prefer. So, and we prefer to because then you're part of our memberships. So anyways, that's it for now. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Courtney Scott Wright and Achara Kirk. Peace out.